Hello again, my love bug goodies. Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen. How to cook. This is another requested recipe that you have asked for. Yes, boo. And you wanted me to make Parmesan chicken thighs baked versus fried. And I am always here to deliver. Your girl always give it to know. Now, these chicken thighs oh, are so yummy. You wanted me to make fried and you wanted me to bake baked. So I am giving you what? A combination of both. Yes, boo. Your girl always here to deliver. And now, if you're here watching me cooking for the very first time, be sure you have subscribed. If you have not already subscribed, feel free to do so. And then, of course, you turn on those full notification settings to be reminded every time a girl upload what? A brand new video. Now, let's jump right into the Gulap Gulap recipe now. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need ya? You know remember the days I'm when him feed ya. You know when no obligation but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him what you get. Turn your back on your brother when him need ya. Okay, love box. Let's jump right into the recipe. Now I have twelve thighs right here that has been washed with salt lemon juice and vinegar make sure you say chicken nice and clean now to get started you're going to need salt black pepper you also need garlic powder onion powder and all proper seasoning and you can always switch them up however you like now in a container i went ahead and mixed everything together just to make life easy and simple as always easy and simple in my kitchen everything right now to that i went in and i added some vinegar just a tad bit of the vinegar because i love to put vinegar upon everything i cook that's why now i separated the chicken in half because i am doing fried versus baked now cover it up and just let it chill for at least 30 minutes 30 minutes later it was time for me to finish up the seasoning process right so what i did here I went in and added the parmesan to it make sure that your hands are nice and clean because you are going to pat especially the fried one you're going to pat in that parmesan into the chicken like really pat it into the chicken because when you fry you want to make sure that the parmesan doesn't fall off the chicken when you fry the bake you won't, you don't have to worry about the baking process as much as you do the fry the baking is okay but for the frying your oil have to be perfect and your patting method have to be on fleek so make sure that you pat it in there really really nice if you have to double twice for the parmesan it's go okay go ahead and just make sure you have enough parmesan in there but still don't overdo it just enough to cover the chicken to where it's not like wet on the outside if that makes any sense right now right here my fryer is at 350 degrees and these chicken is going to take exactly nothing past 12 minutes anything past 12 minutes you're going to have a totally different texture that parmesan is going to be burned and the chicken is going to be dry and we do not want that we are looking for moist solid gold fried chicken right the parmesan has to be nice and solid gold not even golden brown solid gold that is the color that the parmesan is going to give on the chicken when you in fact fry it at 350 degrees for at least 12 minutes tops when you get done frying the chicken you are going to just remove it from the heat and just let it hang out and chill until you are finished making your sauce right so that is what your fried looks like now you're on uh, besides your baked right this is what your bake gonna look like now your bake is going to be done at 375 degree in a preheated oven and it takes a total of 45 minutes of baking time 30 minutes into the baking i took them out of the oven and fit them on the other side right just like that put it back in the oven for 15 minutes after 15 minutes of baking a total of 45 minutes of baking on 375 degrees the chicken 
was done the baked chicken was done and the parmesan was soaked up into the chicken perfectly now making our sauce it's very very simple and you can do this in your microwave but it tastes better when you do it on stove top now you need one stick of butter into your frying pan right then you want to go in and add your garlic i did add three tablespoons of garlic to that butter there right because i love garlic in everything that i cook i love garlic so I added three tablespoons of that. You could add less if you want, but me, a garlic, I do it. So garlic it was. Went ahead and just allowed that butter to melt with that garlic and soak up together. Just combine and becomes friendly, right? Because garlic tastes good with everything. Now to that, I added some dried parsley. You could add fresh parsley if you like. And I did add some basil. You don't have to add that, that was optional. You could add anything you want or you could just go parsley. But you know me already, right? Now I did go in and add some black pepper to it. And after I added my black pepper, I go in and add some onion powder, right? Cause we are trying to get this thing flavor, honey, flavor. Then I did go back in with my apple cider vinegar and I just add like a half teaspoon of it to it. Not much, just about a half teaspoon and gave it a nice mix. And again, my fire is on very low heat cause we are not cooking this thing. We are just melting and combining right here. Then after that was said and done, we'll go in and added my Parmesan to it. Okay, you want to make sure that you turn your heat off right here because we are not cooking anymore and just let it hang out after about one minute just let it stay on stove top for an, a minute and then you remove it from the heat because we do not want this thing to burn so one minute I take it off of the stove altogether that perfect now while you're here still watching me cooking go ahead and make sure that you have subscribed to the channel if you have not subscribed feel free to do so and turn on those post notifications to be aware of whenever i upload videos i always have good videos here they're always fast easy and simple to follow one two three type thing right now they are always good always while you're still here make sure that you're subscribed to my second channel life as juliana I always have inspirational videos there down DIYs, all kinds of things, vlogs and more. I'm doing chit chat and story times. All my vegan recipes are over there. There is no more vegan recipes here. So all I'm vegan, I'm going to go over there and subscribe and show some love, right? I am waiting. Thank you guys for supporting what I do. And I love you, love you guys so, 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 so much. All right. Now, when this thing was done, the baked was done, the fried was done, my sauce was all done, honey. This thing was waiting up patiently. Went ahead and dipped it and twirled it nice and slow because listen i wasn't trying to rush this thing this thing was done in love you hear me in love nice and slow and gentle in love that's what happens in my kitchen everything that i do i do it in love you hear me now these parmesan fried chicken was already looking so 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 good and I was already in love with this bind down in that goodness but listen we did have people are wait patiently feet so mama took her time what did you hear me I wasn't rushing I was taking my time getting that juicy little thing up on that chicken I was mm-hmm now that chicken right there oh it was so tender to the touch it was just a so undescribable unlike my baked version that thing was even so 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 much moist oh the thing was melon so good it was even so hard for me to choose what i really liked the best because both of them was just it was it just was had a mind of its own and it was just doing its own thing but it was full of flavor from the outside on up into the inside listen this fried chicken parmesan fried chicken the skin was so delicate and it was so nice and crispy and moist and 
filled with nothing but flavor. The baked was soft and moist both on the outside and on the inside. If you could look right here closely, you see that fried, how the skin layer is. It's just a nice crispy outer skin, but not over the top crispy all parmesan crispy is what i'm talking about and that white nice juicy meat on the inside was everything the thing was when i say solid gold i mean solid gold right unlike your baked parmesan in the oven that thing was nice moist and juicy both on the outside and on the inside look at that meat on the inside that meat was tender and juicy and full of nut but flavor to the touch the thing was delicious divine parmesan chicken thighs baked versus fried me can decide can you decide which one you like better let me know down below what is your favorite baked or fried parmesan chicken thighs because your girl is undecided the tour them at the bomb that come now if you are still here and watching me cooking up this recipe that you have requested make sure that you have subscribed share the love with your friends your family your neighbor the people I'm down the street the people I'm up the road spread the love send them come tell them what's going on up over here and listen remember tell me what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy mm -hmm.